Um, this doll is a Kessner, a 148. Ah, looks in good shape. Looks wonderful. Nice kid body. Common at that time. But suddenly I see, uh-oh, sawdust. Over we go. And like so many of these dolls, the kid has broken down. It has been repaired. You can see where person has used stitches and so forth. What we do is find our own kid and patch. Patch this little girl with very fancy bandages. Over here, we have a drawer full of kid gloves. They're so beautiful. Um, and were certainly worn in their day. But um, I can only suggest you go to a Goodwill or someplace or your grandma's drawers and find kid. Try to match the kid. As when you say kid, what do you mean by kid? Oh, kid is a finish, is a kind of leather. And the, these were the way my, in my day, we remember Jacqueline Kennedy always wore gloves up to her elbow. <laughs> All right. And people still wear, women still wear kid, of course, but not like we used to. So try to match the color as best you can. You can see the difference in the colors of kid. We have brown, we have black, and so forth. But I had already selected this. And when these things were done originally, oftentimes, and during the patching, preferably you used a form of picking shear. This is the kind that's the um, scallop, not the little triangles, like the more familiar picking shear. You certainly can use just a plain, good old pair of scissors and start your repair. I use just tacky glue or a number of other glues are out there. Mendal and um, this one called Instant Grip. I'm going to take a piece of simply because I get kind of messy doing this. And a popsicle stick can be wonderful. Oh, here we go. Just run that glue right down there. Just goop it. This is why the popsicle stick. Or you can always use your fingers. <laughs> That'll do the job also. Like most of these glues, if you let them get a little bit sticky, a little bit dry, a little bit gummy, it certainly helps. But um, due to time, I'm going to go ahead and start this without quite getting to that. And this is a whopper. Oh, I want to add quickly, if you have sawdust, fine. If you have a source for sawdust, that's not your common everyday thing. You can also take cotton and press up in here, but she's so well packed that you, that kind of filling isn't needed. She's still very intact. It's a beautiful doll, as you can see. Now you have to do this by allowing for the joint to move still. And there you go. 
like with any repair using glue, give it plenty of time to dry. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, you're welcome. We'll do the same thing on this side also.